I describe myself as an explorer. I like challenging questions. I get excited when there is an unknown or a discovery to understand the science behind a process. But then how does understanding all that really have an impact in patients' lives? And that's the ultimate goal here. One of the nation's leaders in developing new immunotherapies for cancer is Nina Barwars. Through her research, including the development of vaccines for cancer, her work promises to change the lives of millions of patients. What we're doing here at Mount Sinai is understanding what is key to a cancer cell in terms of recognition by the immune system. Immunotherapy is first-line therapy for many, many cancers now, and it's something that we wouldn't have dreamed of even a decade ago. Nina has probably become the leading person working on cancer vaccines maybe in the world at this point. I came to help to build an immunotherapy program, and since then, we have built our vaccine and cell therapy lab. It's where we can make personalized cancer vaccines. We can manipulate stem cells for transplantation. We can grow viruses for vaccine platforms. The personalized genomic vaccine is one of the novel things which she is doing. When cancer cells are becoming cancer, sometimes they develop newer kind of an antigen and she is identifying those antigens and developing a vaccine which is unique to that patient's own cancer. I think that will be a game changer. We've made some discoveries from the cell types that are involved in engaging the immune system to identifying pathways in these cells that are key to arming the immune system to attack cancer cells. I really do believe the next generation of immunotherapy efforts to cure cancer will be led by Nina Bodwash. One of Nina's great abilities is to excite young people about science. But by honoring Dr. Bodwash, I feel we are honoring a woman who is a role model for science. I'm extremely honored to be awarded the medallion. It took a long time to convince the rest of the field that the immune system was really paramount in understanding how we can combat the growth of cancer cells. And today, the tide has changed. Immunology has really catalyzed the development of new therapies to treat cancer. I think it's a very helpful time for patients with cancers. There's a lot more to be done, and so I'm very excited about the next 10 years. Thank you.